First, Liverpool wanted Moises Caicedo, and then they wanted Romeo Lavia, but instead they've signed the 30-year-old Wataru Endo from Stuttgart. And you might be wondering, who the hell is this guy? Well, let me tell you, and we can work out whether he's exactly the sort of player that Liverpool need to progress and become even more powerful. So first of all, why did Liverpool want Endo? Well, that is quite easy to answer, and it's because they don't have any defensive midfielders whatsoever. They sold James Milner, they sold Jordan Henderson, they sold Fabinho. So all those defensive-minded players are gone. Even Naby Keita, who's quite a, a ball-winning, tackling kind of box-to-box -box player, defensive-minded really, he's not there anymore either. So they need a defensive midfielder, that's where he comes in, right here. But that still doesn't answer why Endo. He doesn't even have a real full Wikipedia page. Well, let's work out what sort of player he is. We can do that with statistics. Well, according to his FBRF statistics, he profiles as something of a defensive midfielder, but also not. What we do see is that he clears the ball an awful lot and he wins lots of aerial battles. So he's smashing the ball away with his head. And also we can see that he receives a lot of the ball in the opposition area. Lots of touches received in the opposition area. That's not really what a defensive midfielder does. And his passing isn't the absolute best either, although he does do a lot of progressive passes and can carry the ball as well. What's really weird for a defensive midfielder is that he's got lots of really high uh, creative and goal scoring actions up in this part of his FBRF statistic profile, which is not, again, what you'd think from a defensive midfielder. So who is this guy? Well, we can use our eyes and watch him play actual football. What we learn from that is that he can play as a midfielder either as a six in front of two eights or behind two eights or he can play as one of two eights because a lot of the formations he plays in at Stuttgart are either a back three with a midfield two, a back three with a midfield three or a back four with a midfield two. That's what he tends to do. So he can play in either side of this or he can play as the six. So he's multi-positional, that's useful. He's also spent a lot of time playing at centre back and when he was playing in his youth in Japan he played as normally the right side of centre back or he can play as part of a back three as well. So you've got lots of positional uh, flexibility from him which is obviously very useful and it might also be why some of the statistics are a bit weird because you're playing midfield you shouldn't really be smashing the ball away with your head that much but Endo can play centre back as well sometimes goes there at the end of games to help close them out for Stuttgart but what Liverpool need is someone to play as the anchor between defence and midfield someone who can help be a pivot player so players can play around them someone who can break up the play in this sort of area and when they're pushing up the pitch who can kind of anchor things far up the pitch so that Liverpool don't get lost and uh, succumb to counter-attacks. He's got to cover a lot of different things here. Now, is he that sort of player? Well, when I watch Endo play, what I see is someone who kind of suits the final third approach of the game for Liverpool more than the, the deep build-up. Because although he can do this, he's not the best, he's not the, got the perfect technique for these sorts of um, high-pressure situations when you've got players closing you down, you've got to turn and be able to play through lines. He tends to uh, win the ball back and then burst away from a couple of tackles and then help get the ball forward, more of a box-to-box -box kind of player. But in the final third, this will be very useful for Liverpool because, as we know, Liverpool like to play with this front three with maybe Gakpo and Nunes in here and you've got uh, midfielders somewhere like here. Maybe they pull out wide, so you've got Alexander Arnold coming in here to be able to create from this sort of position and then they push up a bit like this. And the key to all this working, either they play the back three or Robertson goes forward, is that they need to be able to win the ball back high at the pitch. They've got to be able to win the ball back in here if they lose it. And what we know Liverpool do is when they lose the ball, they all pounce on it in a counter press immediately uh, so they can try and win the ball back from whoever has it. So if this person gets the ball, they will counter press immediately to try and win it back. And that's when Ando really comes into his own because he's really quick at pouncing onto challenges to win the ball back. And then, as we say, he kind of wins it and then somehow manages to get away with the ball to move it onwards. So he makes a lot of tackles and he wins a lot of fouls, oddly, as well, which has a lot to do with him charging into these counter-pressing situations. So the ball's obviously loose, lots of players around you. That kind of makes sense, but he tends to get away from it uh, with the ball, so that's really useful. But that's not exactly what Fabinho did. Fabinho was a bit more classy in possession maybe, and is better at building up from these sorts of situations. So how then does Endo suit this play if he's not the kind of ball playing progressor that Fabinho was? Well, the answer is, he doesn't really have to be because of the way that Liverpool now play, as we've covered multiple times on TIFO IRL. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> now what we've got, as we know, is Asner Arnold likes to come inside to be one of the central pivots. So a pivot player, someone you can play around, helps build up play from the back. And this is what Liverpool are now doing a little bit with the three and with these two. So if you now have Gakpo, Salah and Diaz pushing higher up the pitch, we'll get rid of this solo defender and goodbye. What you've got, Sob's line McAllister can be your attacking tens in between these players. Of course, Salah wants to come inside, Sob's line will swap around with him. You want to get Asner Arnold to this position as well and you've got this triangle that swaps around. Now, this is one of the things you want to have at Liverpool, but we'll put them back into this sort of shape. Because if you have Alexander Arnold here in the deep phase, and you want to build up the play, what you now have is a creative player who can ping the passes and distribute play from the back. And you've got Endo, who's kind of like his busy bee bodyguard, who can come in and make sure he stings anyone who gets near to him, 
cleans up any messes as the ball goes forward. It's cut out by, say you've got a midfielder here, and Alexander Arnold's trying to thread this ball through to McAllister. What might happen is that the ball bounces loose, Endo pounces on it, they all pounce on it, they win the ball back, and that suits the Jurgen Klopp strategy, the system of play, the counter press. That's what they want. But one of the things with Alexander Arnold playing in this way now is that Robertson doesn't get to make quite as many forward runs as he might have done in the past, and he's pretty good at that. He's really, really important to Liverpool in the past, getting really forward, as far forward as almost being a number nine at times. And obviously, if you're building up with a three and a two, that's not doable. So we'll push him even further up the pitch so we can see where Endo comes into his own or might be useful, and this is how they use him going forward because we'll push these guys back. Endo is an Arnold up here. So what you then get, if you get to this part of the pitch and you're pushing your, your opponent back, suddenly these guys are getting deeper, and this is the defenders now. So what you've got is a team can push right into the opposition half. Now at this stage, you don't have to have the three and the two. What you can do is move Van Dijk and Kanati to cover these parts of the pitch. And you should have players in position to counter press, kind of like this, so they can get round. And that then gives room for Robertson to get round in behind of Diaz moving in, because you've got cover from Endo in behind to the space that he would leave vacant. Same on the right-hand side, there's still that problem with Alexander Arnold being vacant, but Sobazlai can maybe cover that. Maybe play someone like Harvey Elliott, you can do something. You can even play Endo on the right side, keep Alexander Arnold in this sort of bit here and then he'd just be the holding player here with McAllister so you've got more options in your midfield and of course another option they have is to play McAllister as the six it's not the best use of him for me personally but you could play Endo as the maybe the right-sided central midfielder get rid of Sobazlai as well and then you can put in someone like Curtis Jones who was absolutely well really important to Liverpool last season anyway coming in because he really helped with the counter press on this left hand side so that would mean you've got Endo and Jones who can buzz about, win the ball back. They're both quality players who can help with progression as well. But that means you then got this uh, closer midfield to what you've had in the past at Liverpool that's more supportive of the front two with Gakpo dropping in to form your diamond. And then you can get Alexander Arnold and Robertson forward as they did in the past when they were at their absolute best. And then of course you've got this great midfield to try and win the ball back high up the pitch. So Endo might not sound like the most high profile, big money signing you possibly get. He's 30 years old, maybe that's not amazing for squad building going forward, but what you get is a multi-positional, experienced, international midfielder who can play at centre back as well. And it gives Klopp options in his midfield and how he can play his Liverpool team this season, which is what they need because many teams are figuring them out and this will make them even better. And that's why Liverpool have signed Wataru Endo. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.